the Scrapebox Chat GPT plugin updates and some troubleshooting for that plugin. So if you don't have the Chat GPT plugin for Scrapebox, you can go to Show Available Plugins and you can find the Chat GPT OpenAI scraper and you can buy it. And once you have it, you also go here and you install it and you can update it from here as well. Also tells you some about it. Of course, we are talking about the program Scrapebox. If you don't have Scrapebox, you can go to scrapebox.com and roll down here to the bottom and pick it up just before the deal ends here. And then once you have Scrapebox, you want to head over to scrapeboxtips.com and pop in your info. And I'm going to give you full link tutorials, guides, checklists, and even show you how to make money using Scrapebox and all of it's free. I have another video, which I will link in the description, which goes over the whole plugin in depth. Once you have it, you can go here and you can launch it. So a quick update and then a troubleshooting piece in the long form video where I show you the whole thing step by step by step and talk about it and how you do it in the settings section there is a bunch of different engines here and as you go through some of these up here at the top there is some engine selection options that has now been removed because we figured out which engine is going to be most optimal for each section and we just load that for you automatically so that you don't have to worry about that so if you no longer see that engine option that is why now some people have run into issues where they're getting an error message when they're using the chat gpt scraper and the error message is this it is it may say error code 429 but it says you exceeded your current quota please check your plan and billing details now this doesn't have anything to do with any kind of settings or tokens or anything inside of scrapebox what it is is that your open ai api has a um, a threshold that's set and for some people it's set really low automatically and so if you exceed that then you just have to adjust it. So if you go here to this you, um, article, it's actually on help.openai.com. You can probably Google for it. I will also link it in the description. It tells you um, what the issue is and that you've hit your current monthly spend, like the hard limit. And then it tells you here how to resolve the issue. So you're gonna check your quota in the account settings and you can see how many tokens you consumed here. So let's have a look at that. So if I look, if I click here, then it just takes you right here where you can see that my appro approved usage limit for my account, my API is $120 and you can request increases. I have a hard limit of $35 and a soft limit of $25. And it tells you about, you get some notifications and that sort of thing. So I think when this started, it was like, for me, it was because I joined so early, it's had it set like a dollar or something. So, you know, it's, Spending a dollar is, if you use it a lot, you can go over a dollar. It's really cheap and expensive, I should say, but you can go over it if you use it a lot. And then you can see how much you've consumed here. So if we click here, you can see on this particular API, so I have different accounts, but on this account, um, I have basically nothing in July. And let's see in June, I have you know some usage, 31 cents and, and 13 cents, right? And that 44 cents total for the month, right? So not a whole lot going on there. But basically what happens is you need to adjust this. If this is set super low, like a dollar or something, and you use a dollar, then you need to up your hard limit is ultimately what it's saying here, right? It's saying that your hard limit has been reached. And so if you're using a free plan, considering upgrading to a pay-as-you-go plan, that could be it too. You could have a free plan and you could have exceeded the free plan allotment. If you need a quota increase, you can, of course, click here and get a quota increase request as well to go up you know and maybe your quota set ultra low anyway so that is how you fix either air code 429 or you have exceeded your current quota please check your plan and billing details and that will just pop up as a box right inside the um right inside the plugin and so that is the updates. Things have been streamlined to um, automatically utilize the most efficient uh, API engine because there actually are a lot of different engines that a OpenAI offers. And so we have streamlined everything there. And then that is how to fix that error if you have hit your hard limit. Thanks for watching this Scrapebox video. For more Scrapebox videos, click the subscribe button down below and then click the bell. And then check out these other great Scrapebox videos.